Hey everyone, welcome back to an, my first LEGO Star Wars 2024 set review, guys. Today, guys, I have 75372, the Clone Trooper and Dro Battle Droid Battle Pack, guys. This has based off the Clone Wars and is the very first 2024 set, guys, released on January 1st of 2024. And it's not retired, obviously, because it just came out like a week ago. But I would probably say this set is going to retire probably December of 2025, I'd like to say. This set comes with 215 pieces nine minifigures that's pretty crazy and retails for thirty dollars usd or forty dollars canadian and so yes guys and if you actually got if you guys actually don't know this is pretty much a like kind of like remaster kind of like a remade remade 2007 clone battle pack and droid battle pack both put into this one set right here as you can see they kind of just like remade both of those battle packs from 2007 and pretty much just combined them both into one sec which i think is really cool kind well that's really just for the mini figure selection not too much for the builds really like the speeder bikes or remake but like the tri or but the the tri droid there that's actually i would probably say that's probably a remake of the 20 the one that we got in the 2014 Utapau troopers battle pack but yeah guys i'm really happy they finally made this set guys but I'm going to tell you my reviews for it once we get into the review, guys. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, guys. And to see more LEGO Star Wars reviews like this, guys, coming into 2024, I'm going to have I'm gonna be reviewing every single set I get this year, guys. And I still have to review some of the sets I got for Christmas as well back in, like, in 2023. But yeah, guys, let's start, or let's start off this review by getting to the minifigures. All right, guys, so starting off, we have the brand new... Um, regular p2 clone trooper guys and i am super happy they finally remade this figure guys the last time we got this clone trooper was in 2014 and that was in a microfire which I'll, i actually have so i'll show it to you guys here in a sec but yeah guys this is a really nice mini figure i'm really happy they updated or they remade this clone trooper guys but obviously guys you know this like the last one that we got was based off revenge of the sith this one's based off the clone wars so it's got like the clone wars helmet and it also does have the helmet holes which i know a lot of people wish they didn't have but obviously they did because you know they're not getting rid of them and then we also have just like the basic 2020 style clone trooper chest plate and on um, leggings and i'll actually move it to the side right here guys to show you the one that we got in 2014 so this one guys here so this one guys here right beside it is the one that came in the clone trooper microfire from 2014 and this figure is now 10 years old and so yeah this is what 10 years of the clone trooper did as you can see the back printing looks very very similar though i am surprised about that but another one of the differences and also and these two and also the torso printing does look pretty similar too guys but really the only difference here like the main difference here i can see is with the legs as you can see other than the helmet but yeah the main difference i can see here with the legs it, guys is like the, the printing from them is just completely different this one i feel like is a bit more detailed because it's also also got the toes this one's just a bit more um, basic and simple but yeah and then also we've also got the um helmets under guys i can quickly show off the helmets too if you guys like to see what the helmets look like i'd probably still prefer the 2014 one just because i'm a bigger fan of the um, Revenge of the Sith style um, Phase Two clone helmets. Yeah, guys, this is really what this is what ten years did to the P two clone trooper guys. This is what ten years did, and then also you guys know we got two other ones in this set. But yeah, but yeah, guys, this is exactly what ten years did to the regular P two clone trooper. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna give this. I really do like this minifigure. I just wish it didn't have the helmet holes, but. Yeah, I still do think though this is a really good clone trooper. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Next up, guys, we have the Shock Trooper. And the Shock Trooper is really nice as well. I do really like Shock Troopers. I'm really happy that we got Shock Troopers in the new Course on Guard gunship last year, guys. Yes, this is not the first time we got um, the Course on Guard Trooper since 2014, guys. Because we also did get it in the Course on Guard gunship. But, like, it's really the exact same. Um, but, like, yeah, it's got the really nice printing. It's pretty much just... The regular p2 clone trooper but just with like um making some of the parts red as you can see but yeah i do think though this is a really nice figure i love these um i love shock troopers guys shock troopers are probably some of my favorite clone troopers in the clone wars guys i'm gonna give this figure a 9 out of 10. and here we have another figure that's finally making return after 
now this one being nine years guys a super battle droid the last time we got a super battle droid was i think i believe in 2015 so i'm really happy that we finally got um super battle droids back in lego star wars guys not too sure if it's different than the last one i can maybe check on bricklink to see if they're the exact same guys but still i'm just super happy to see that we finally got super battle droids back guys i love these figures so much and really the only other one i had was from battle on saluka mine 2014 but yeah guys it's just such a nice minifigure i love it so much I, I do believe though the um the legs could still snap pretty easily which is why they stopped making them but you never know guys I, you never know like they could have like improved the material a little bit but still i'm so happy they brought these minifigures back guys and these are just perfect i'm giving them a 10 out of 10 and then finally you guys you just have your basic battle droid here as you can see and also i forgot to mention with the um super battle droids i'll just show them in the background right here but you actually get three of them in the set which is really cool but yeah i'm also super or er, yeah, just super happy they brought those figures back, guys. But now we just got the basic battle droid, guys. This is the battle droid that this is the exact same battle droid design that we've been getting since 1999, guys. You know, like I, they're never gonna change the battle droid design, guys. It's just always gonna stay like this, but it's still pretty accurate. So I'll just give it a seven out of ten. All right, guys. So I think we can all agree the most craziest part though about this set, guys, has got to be how you get five or probably the minifigures are better, but still, guys, getting five builds. And this set is pretty crazy for just a forty dollars set, guys. But yeah, like let's move them all out of the or out of the way, and let's just go smallest to biggest, guys. Starting off with this little storage compartment bin, guys. I mean, like you know, it's re something really simple. You just open it up. It has a thermal detonator inside. It's a very, very basic build. That was my three second review on that. The little like wall you got, or the little like tur or the little turret that you got a bit, I guess. But yeah, it is a really nice turret, I will admit. It's really nice, guys. I do really think, I think it's really detailed. And I do like some of the pieces that they use, as you can see right there. It does have a stud shooter, which you can obviously... Okay. You do have a stud shooter, which can obviously be sh shot off very easily, as you can see. And I actually didn't lose it, thank God. And you can act... Well, this is obviously as well, you kind of use to like... You can also use it to kind of like... um defend some clone troopers a bit and then you just shoot it off but you guys might just think these are just walls they kind of are but they are actually also shields as you can see see your clone troopers can have shields for their backup if they need it so you can kind of make it let me just remove the blaster from this guy so i don't feel like putting it on this do, does don't tell me this doesn't look pretty sick to you guys just clone trooper with a shield and a blaster that looks pretty sick to me and yes as you can see though it's also just got clips that you can put your shield back on once you're done and you even have clips for your weapons right there too um so you can just put your blaster right there so it's also kind of like a clone command station if you'd like to call it one which is really cool i really do like this build a lot although it's small i really final do like build guys on the clone side we do have the the double seated speeder bike as you can see so this is completely a remake from the 2007 one guys same with kind of the wall too a remake from the 2007 battle pack guys but yeah like because like you can you guys know no still two seats still a bunch of guns on it and it's let's just show it off guys i am a pretty big big fan of this speeder although it does look a bit downsized compared to the 2007 one i do think it is a really nice build so you can fit your clone trooper on the on the front right there and you can also even put another clone trooper in the back as you can see so there you, and he's even got some guns at the back guys which you can use to fire off and you can even take them off if you like and then you also have stud shooters on the side which i just demonstrated them so i'm not going to demonstrate them there because you know how they work and then you also got the driver in the front right here guys they're like kind of like drive around the only thing that does that does just look a bit off to me though guys i will admit it's just kind of how like right here it's like i don't know this part here does it just feels just a bit too small i feel like or it just feels a bit too low i'm not too sure but i still do really like this build i don't know just this front part here just feels a bit small compared to like this this part just feels a bit oversized but yeah it is still a decent speeder guys i'll give it a six out of ten what do you have for the droid side 
Yes, you have a staff and a tri droid. Let's start off with the staff. So for the staff, guys, it's the blue um, version that we use, guys, from the Clone Wars. And essentially, guys, it's on this little like clear clear base right here that's um, using a stick to get be attached to this, the actual staff itself. And then you can even move this part up and down, as you can see, even though it's really supposed to stay down. You also do have the thrusters right here. And you got the handle that you can use to attach your battle droid to it. And since his arms are pretty close to each other, guys, you just attach them right there. And then, oh yeah. And then you just kind of got it, him to fly around like this, and you can kind of use this as like a handle bit, as you can see. Really cool build, and I really do like it. Final and best build of the set, guys, I think we can agree, is obviously the tri -droid, guys. I love this build, guys. It's pretty, it's very light, but it just looks so menacing, and it just looks amazing to me, guys. So yeah, let's start off by taking a look at this thing, guys. So starting off, you got the legs, which, like, you're not really supposed to move the legs too much unless you want to, like, move them like this. I don't move the legs, guys. I just kind of keep them in its position they are. But yeah, they are pretty simple builds, as you can see, though. Very simple. But all three legs are built the same. And then it, and then you move up to the middle of the tri -droids. Got, like, a bit of, like, a blue kind of, like, thruster or something there, I guess. You've got the eyes right here with some turrets, as you can see. You can also, you can like move it around. As you can see, you just keep spinning it around. And, the, and then the one play feature that you have on this, other than moving the legs, is they brought it back, guys. Flick fire missiles. You guys know how these things work. Just flick them off like that. And yeah, if you flick them pretty hard, they can go pretty far. But then once you're done with them, you just slide them back into the legs right there as you can see they do look a bit weird though just because of like how much they pop out or just because of how much the back of them pop out but hey i'm fine with it i do still think it looks really cool but yeah guys that's all i got for this review all right guys so what do i think of the clone trooper versus joy battle pack guys for 2024 i think for 30 or for 30 bucks or and 40 bucks guys this is just a phenomenal deal guys like this is just one you don't want to miss out on, guys. Like, I love the clone troopers. I love how they brought back super battle droids. I think most of the builds look really cool. Other, Although me thinking that the clone the clone builds are a bit lacking, but I am a huge fan of the design for the battle, or for the separatist um, builds, guys. But still, I think for 40 bucks and 30 bucks, guys, this is just not a set you'll want to miss out on, guys. This set is pretty much just perfect for what you're getting. And I'm going to give this set, guys, a solid 9.5 out of 10. I don't think, or I'll give it a solid 9 out of 10. I don't, I just don't think it's perfect, mainly just with these two clone builds, but still a solid 9 out of 10, guys. I know this January wave was pretty lacking for Star Wars because, like, we only got three sets. We just got this, a 4 plus set, and a poly bag. So, yeah, a very lacking January wave, though, for Star Wars, I will admit. And now we have to wait till March to get more, or to get more new Star Wars sets. Which does kind of suck, but I've heard, but the from what I've heard, the wave sounds pretty exciting, guys. But I'm not one. Just quick, just one quick announcement I want to say, guys, before this video ends is obviously, guys, you know I'm still in school right now. I'm in grade ten right now, guys. But yeah, like, like I started high school back in 2022, guys, and I'm in grade ten right now, guys, and I'm going into exams. So it's there's not going to be too much uploading throughout the month, guys. But I promise one. I'll probably maybe have me like I, I want to say maybe like two more videos out this month guys until I'll probably be absent for a while but then once I come back or but then once I'm done exams guys I'll be back in February or I'll be back probably like in the very end of the month guys obviously because I have to do a collection tour video and then I'm also probably gonna do, an, do another Lego haul once I'm done those exams guys and yeah so I'm gonna give this a solid 9 out it's all a 9 out of 10. I definitely do think it's better than the original clone battle packs from 2007. And this could even be like the best battle pack of all time, maybe, guys. And I definitely want to get a few of these. Especially if this set's going to be on shelves for like about like two years or maybe even three years. Like this set could even stay on shelves till 2026. But I'm, I'm going to say this set will stay on shelves till 2025, probably, you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Th don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you with more reviews later this year.